an aircraft carrying Malawi's Vice President Salus Chilima and nine others has gone missing. A statement from the President's office has said the Malawi Defense Force aircraft went off the radar. So that's why it went missing because it went off the radar, meaning that the Defense Force cannot trace this aircraft based on that it has gone off the radar. After it left the capital, Lilungui, on Monday morning, it added, the plane was supposed to land at Muzuzu International Airport in the country's north just after 10 local time, 9 BCT. In a speech late on Monday, President Lazarus Chakwiri said in a search, said a search and a rescue operation was continuing. Soldiers are still on ground carrying out the search. I have given strict orders that the operation should continue until the plane is found. He said, adding that it was a heartbreaking situation. I know that we we are all frightened and concerned. I too am concerned, but I want to assure you that I am sparing to no available resources to find that plane and I'm holding on to every fiber of hope that we will find survivors. Mr. Chakwiri earlier cancelled his flight today. Bahamas, which was scheduled for Monday evening. The reason for the aircraft's disappearance is not yet known. General Valentino Ferreira told Mr. Chakwiri Moses Kunkuyi, Malawian's information minister, told the BBC efforts to find the aircraft was intensive. In 2022, Dr. Chilema was arrested and charged on allegations that he accepted money in exchange for awarding government contracts. Last month, the court dropped the charges, giving no reasons for this decision. Who is Salus Chilima? Prior to his political career, Dr. Chilima held key leadership roles in multinational companies like Unilever and Coca-Cola. He is 51 years old. He is married with two children. Dr. Chilima is described on the government's website as a performer, workaholic, and an achiever. He holds a P. HD in knowledge management. So, based on the corruption charges that was leveled against him in the 2022 that was dropped last year, and based on his profile, we just hope that this is not politically motivated, and we just hope that they will find them all alive, and we equally hope that the president of Malawi will bring clarity to this situation the defense ministry the information ministry every hands must be on deck to find these people and the president of this country and everybody that are working under this president owes the Mal malawian people clarity in this situation this issue needs to be cleared once these people are found if this is witch hunting this kind of witch hunting in africa must stop because it's not healthy for african politics Yes, it is not healthy that when you don't agree with a certain a politician or you feel threatened by their paid degree or their integrity or their status, you start witch hunting them. I just hope that is not what it is. But if it is what it is, we have to, as Africans, put an end to this. Yes, because as things are evolving, these kind of things will not let us progress moving forward as Africans.